Hi, I'm Tila, founder of Every-Tuesday.com, a tutorial-based graphic design blog. In this lesson, we'll be creating our washi tape from scratch with just a few tools. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool once again, so I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm also going to click just anywhere on my artboard. And when your dialog box shows up, you're going to input 235 pixels by 90 pixels and hit OK. And now, once again, we need to change the color of this rectangle. So I'm going to click on this black box, and then I'm going to click on the spectrum, and I'm going to input kind of a red-purple color. So the color build for this is 196, 55, 91, and hit OK. And now you can see we've got this really nice red-purple color, and we can toggle this properties panel away. OK, so I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to grab my Move tool and just position it right on the Polaroid where we want it. We don't want it to end up on top of the photograph, but we want it bleeding off a little bit at the top since we're sticking this Polaroid to our layout. OK, so in order to look like washi tape, we need to add a few effects to it just to brighten it up. So the first thing we need to do is add a texture. And the way we're going to add the texture is actually using the eraser tool. And in order to use the eraser tool on the shape, we need to rasterize the shape. It sounds a little scary, but it's really basic. So all you have to do is right click on your rectangle layer, choose rasterize layer, and that's it. And we're also going to label this layer as long as we're here. So we're going to call this washi tape. Okay, next we're going to grab our eraser tool. And you can get to your eraser tool just by hitting E on your keyboard. And the cool thing about the eraser tool is you can actually change the shape of it. And you can do that by coming right up here and toggling this little arrow down. And all of these kind of brushes right here can be used with an eraser as well. So we're looking for a brush that's got a lot of texture in it. So I'm going to choose this brush. It's a default Photoshop brush, so everyone should have it. And it's labeled number 100. Once I have that, I can click up here, and now you can see I've got this texture. But I need it to be really big. So I'm going to hit the open bracket key on my keyboard a bunch of times to get it nice and big. And I'm just going to click once on my washi tape. That seems a little big, so I'm going to undo it by hitting Command-Z or Control-Z on a PC. Now I'm going to reduce the size of this by hitting the open bracket key on my keyboard. And I'm just going to click once and click a couple of times just to add that texture. That's looking pretty good, but it's still a little more opaque than I'd like. So I'm going to come back to my Move tool, come over here to my Layers palette, and here's where I can adjust my opacity. I'm just going to bring this down to 80%, so it's a little bit lighter and it won't compete with our photograph. Next, I need to make it look like tape, so we need some torn edges on the sides. In order to do that, we're going to use our Polygono Lasso tool, and that's located in our toolbox over here right here. And if you don't see polygonal lasso tool right here, all you have to do is click and drag and make sure you have polygonal lasso tool selected. Next, I'm just going to click anywhere outside of my tape and then click on the inside. And every time you click, it's adding a point. So I'm going to make this really jagged so it looks naturally torn. So a bunch of zigzags. And then come off the bottom corner. And then we want to make sure it's closed so you can see this little circle appears, and that's going to close the shape. After I do that, I'm just going to hit the Delete key on my keyboard, and that will delete that. In order to deselect this, all we have to do is hit Command-D or Control-D on a PC. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So click outside of the shape, and then come into the shape, and just give that side a nice little zigzag. And close it up. Make sure that circle appears before you click and then hit Delete, and then Command-D or Control-D on a PC. Now we've got a cool little piece of tape. If we want it to seem even more natural, we can rotate our tape. So in order to do that, we're going to hit Command-T or Control-T on a PC, and this is our free transform tool. Our free transform tool allows us to scale and rotate whatever's selected. So I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. You can see my straight arrow turned into a curved arrow, and all I have to do is click and move it slightly, and that seems a lot more natural. Once I want to commit these changes, all I have to do is hit Enter or Return. And now it's placed. So now we've got our washi tape on top of our Polaroid, and if I zoom out, you can see how cool that looks. <laughs>